National Development Plan bi plan la bi nga xamne ni pour plan rew mi la naka la ñoy def develop rew mi plan bi ni domi rew bu neka yang si am wala ndp bi lo lo mu na gis moy ma commencer ci yoni bori passa mas fale ligi nañ fa ay yon modern route yon yi nga xamne ni yon yu bax nañ te legi chono dem di taha wala dem di am naka naka kom problem lo lepp legi mu na wax ne passé na am school yi ñu le nay taba li ndp bi ku neka mo wara taxaw gis ne li ñu ñok mom ku neka dafa wara jël ownership ne li man ma ko mom access to water ndox tamé wara ñu ko mëna am gis nañ ñu ngi am ay bohul ñu ngi am ay ndox li yépp mu ngi ñew fi ni mu ngi mu ngi mu ngi am légui ni sax ñu ngi ñew start eh nak 86 li kilometer road moy wuñaadu kunte haklang bobu nonu is a very big project bo xamne ni mu ngay ñew start am ci fi ak ay li bu new gis na time bu new so fok na dal am lu bari mu ngay am tam ndp bi tamé try na expand am rural electrification eh li project bi ni moy gohi tam yeb mu na am eh li kurang kunte am na kurang ki nguur bi president moko jité dafa am ene ak ité develop rew mi lu ko doré ci yoon yi ndo e ak kurang l'hôpital ni school yi lepp lo xamni dal social amenity la social needs la lolu dinañ try ñu am ko suñ ko muñta am tam ci suñ bir neeki way duñu sori so jele li nga xamne ni nga tie ko ne yo yak mom in fok nga tie ko nga fonka ko be pare mu mun latame ngeriñ li nekut am ci benna anam wala benna bor waye luma li dal moy euh plan la bi nga xamne ni plan ni rew mi la te pour naka lañoy def be muna develop gambia bi nga xamne ni ñu ñoko mom ci lu bari comme no bi wa ci courant ci yoni ci ndo ci school yi l'hôpital ni ak yu bari 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 te gis nañ ne stana mu ngi am nanga nanga kon lolu eh naka sante yalla mu na wane mu ngi dem nanga nanga waaw climate change is a cross cutting issue and because it is cross cutting um, it is relevant to every aspect of our development and it is relevant to every sector of our economy and now um, one particular case that I, I was referring to was the tourism sector for example um, the major attacks of um, has the saying goes the smiling coast of the Gambia is that the, our beaches are a major tourist attraction and if, if you go to the, many of these coastal areas today um, we have lost significant areas of those uh, beaches that attract tourists to come and relax in the Gambia or holiday in the Gambia now the second apart from our beaches the natural resources um, particularly the viewing of birds in the Gambia you know bird watching for example I mean it's a major attraction it attracts a lot of tourists coming here particularly from Britain you know we have about over 500 species of birds and these uh, areas uh, where this bird resides currently um, that is the major major areas where they are found as the habitat we call them is the protected areas for example and if you look at the pressure on those protected areas apart from human interference much of these areas are losing their core habitat as a result of um, increased um, dryness which um, uh, increased the impact of fires and of course um, there is also a whole process if you go to for example places like Baobolo the increased salinization for example has uh, reduced the vitality of that wetland to attack certain species of, uh, of birds. If you look at the mangroves, they are dying. So climate change in that sense is, is narrowing down or is impacting on the attractions that are bringing tourists. Therefore, it has a significant impact on the tourism income or the tourism economy uh, in this country. 
Secondly, if we look at, for example, our productive sector, agriculture, climate change has uh, issues or drive issues that are uh, very central to agriculture development. For example, uh, the salinization process um, is on the increase in many parts of this country. And then it is getting to a worrying um, um, level because much of the croplands are being, are, are being uh, saline, are going under the process of salinization. The rice cultivation areas have disappeared largely in many areas, and uh, the croplands are also being you know, affected by increased salinization. Mangroves are the habitat for many species of sea fish. They are the nursery that they provide where it's um, a conducive environment for the young uh, fish to mature and then disperse into the wider ocean where they are being um, where, where they are being fished. So climate change has a direct impact on the mangrove in terms of the salinity. Mangroves are uh, they they grow in saline conditions, but they have a capacity that they can um, so with, with they needed, beyond which they are not able to sustain um, increased salinity. So basically, we are experiencing um, some mangrove drybacks in certain locations along the coastal areas. Not um, trying to paint an image that this is purely as a result of increased salinity, but there is a multitude of issues or causes that are related to this mango die back, but salinity being one of them. Now, um, we have series of some in, uh, MOUs that we have had, not with government institutions, and, uh, but uh, mainly with development partners who have interest uh, in, uh, to invest in our, some aspect of our work, particularly in the management of uh, protected areas, particularly when I give an example of Abu Nature Reserve. Uh, we are working with Fatara, the owner of Fatara, uh, who is intending to invest. And that investment will increase not only the management efficiency of the people, but also will uh, increase their tax by bringing in animals um, that are, uh, are able to um, survive in this country. Uh, uh, and then uh, introducing them into that nature reserve. Um, of course, under a system of an intensive system of management, because the, the the nature of the reserve doesn't permit that they can uh, live freely in, in, in the wild. They have to be managed in terms of feeding and watering and all the rest of it. But of course, it would attract um, uh, a lot of people to go to Abuco Nature Reserve, which is in the heart of. Uh, natural resources management in this country. When the NDP was finalized, there was a call for every ministry to develop its strategic plan. And we were one of the few ministries who were very um, uh, quick in our actions to develop our strategic uh, plan. Uh, while when we embarked on that journey, we had constituted a team from uh, comprising representatives from the National Environment Agency, from forestry sector, from wildlife sector, and the ministry itself. Um, a team that was constituted to guide and also to work closely with the uh, national consultant who was hired to, for this purpose. Uh, the first step was to kind of um, try to align, to do the alignment. How do we go about implementing the uh, the outcome team, which is the major input or intervention area 
and the NDP for the environment are not very successful. Environment is relevant to every aspect of our existence as human beings. Environment and natural resources are the foundation upon which we all subsist and live from. Now, as a ministry, our input into the um, economic development of this country are quite very clear. One, the sustainable management of our living environment, for example, the forest, you know, the, the natural resources, the water, and all other associated resources that people depend on daily continue to exist and be available for utilization by human and the population. If, for example, we are faced with a complete desert situation, you can imagine how much um, intense, uh, how much uh, difficult, for example, it would be for human beings to continue to live in very um, hostile environment. So by maintaining the vegetation cover, for example, the habitat, I mean this, the, the, the tree cover in the country, this is a major um, contribution to the development and the well-being of Gambian population. And of course, in doing so, we directly impact, you know, on the air, the water quality that we every day breathe in, which is important. And if you come to um, climate, the adaptation, the ability for a farmer to know which crop to plant, for example, and when to plant it, and then what is the expectation in terms of the forecast that he need to pay attention to in order to be able to make an informed decision regarding which crop to cultivate. Uh, these are areas that are quite important to our adaptation and uh, mitigation efforts. The working environment for the civil service, there is what we call, you would call generally job security, for example. You are so that um, you are not going to be unfairly um, treated uh, or subject to certain conditions that make it um, more difficult to attain your work or to do your work. So in the current um, uh, civil service setup, I mean, there is that um, uh, peaceful nature of how people work and are quite um, at peace to do and to take initiatives to you know, to undertake initiatives on their own without someone having to um, intimidate you in what you do. So that um, actually exists um, compared to what exists um, in the past in terms of uh, you have to watch out, you have to really calculate everything that you do and how you do it. And then there are situations that you are being dictated to do something. Um, there is no such um, in existence in this current uh, system that um, you are at least to look at what you think. Once you are provided with the framework uh, which governs or guides you in doing what you are doing, which is the NDP, you know, you are will to initiate you know, any process in terms of what you do for either to seek funding or to seek partnership or to you know, do anything that would help you to deliver on your expectations and your, and your contributions to the implementation of the National Development Plan. In the past, it's, it's not actually like that. You, know, um, you have to say and do, to do things that please somebody else, you know, and that somebody is willing or, to take from you or, uh, or uh, assign you to do. So it's, if I'm being asked to develop something now, I give my professional thought in it, and I'm not going to do it to please anybody, for example. I just say I will write what I think is professionally or technically right for someone in the position of decision to look at and then I would not feel that this person will come back to me and say to me, you know, you should have done this, you should have not said this or you should have said this, you know, something like that, to dictate what I do or what I, do, I should not have done. So basically I would say, yes, the civil service is quite at peace in terms of, they have all the opportunities uh, as it is right now, uh, if not for 
um, other restraint, I mean, constraint, for example, the current COVID situation. But otherwise, uh, we are at ease to do our work without pressure, without intimidation, and without uh, too much scrutiny. Um, on one hand, I mean, you may say, but scrutiny is necessary to see that somebody else looks at you and say, oh, no, you should do it better to help you improve, but not to uh, immoral, I mean, demoralize you and then uh, make you, uh, you to uh, look low upon yourself. Those things never exist now under the current administration. Assalamu alaikum. La moela ninju vera al be konton. Kiten tu kaya itan di la konte to mu alaj manjana. Me do ko la Ministry of Environment, Climate Change and Natural Resources. Do la do ko be tilin ding dan daol anala ni mafol ke mara ane ke iruani. Anto haramadi mo ala balu mo wole be loori dan daol kan anala ni mafol ni aju be haramadi mo haramadi. Yo balu ni dunia daol da. Foye fensoto ita alam ko ikam nung bondi o ikam nung ikam nung men ka ikam baluwa la wala ka fensoto abala men ka bunda nawa wato masakunda bunda men soto na alam ko abin nore kung ka masakunda mahoy ka dandaon yiruan di kato pato kudo alam mo di o la balu men be dending ala o balu niyali ni o balu fensoto o si tara kontinere yata la sabatri o la muntu la doko so o doko kake nim bunda Dulu mana bentol kor, dulu bermalam taman di laut lalak mana yang kafir polisi, ani keluar kors, kejuve kaje pun keluar ni ni taman di laut mana yang landi, boleh ke sila tu membe jiran dulu kela dulu la dulu boleh menghap, so dulu la dulu ni mana kaki mana yang ada luaran. Kontrol belor ini ane, anpang, oleh fong kah, atam mandin tuli, tuai ala, oleh kapan ta Department of Forestry, aning Department of Wildlife, anem also akumata kah, Sri Nandi Jangko, National Environment Agency, bunda alat me ala, kerja pun fendo ku, ayu lasu tu la, lafad basu tu, tuli la bunda ala. Hapola, do kula hapola, men landing tole puka toparu pun mula jiru abun na ni banku. So ela do kua ni tole do kua ino faida tu abe mu kilinat. Bari tole mu abun na di meni alangko ibe mantaran tole kota direct. So bari ni do kua ni tole do kua bulatan yoku na bak. Yo tole bi ni tole kan men do kua hari madi mu libe men jeno la wole mu ko hari madi mu nyanda sonda ko fen fen. Ne atu mana nak soto tak akan nasi. Adun mengka nasi, walau ada madin walau kah nasi. Fendo buka soto mengka nasi. Fend fend kah soto mengka nasi. Kome mina menten dalam mengka tak kome alwa alhawa alak kero. Oke lafal dro ke kuol dalam meni be nasi. Barakata ko. Fendo meni be kiri alai soto ni be baluring. Ada madin wuda malam fendo di mengka wu fendo di nasi. Ni aju be kome bido na dan dawal latina. Orang mungkin tak kira banku kena kual kena sejata, ino banku cewel tata, banku ni mau jil men bahu no dasar tabak itu fufu fufu buka balu no ayam ni ul beju be itu ada murkoma ya kurs roke batera aku untuk fufu la baru wati wati kan men ke kata kual men ke purkan fufu balu ni orang karena dimba ya balu ni walau kau kual tina so untuk fufu asik eno ko untuk Ola atin na man siya jeno fanang po. Ito bundarin niya tatara loo, may niya tamul mafoy. Ito sulo ulbe kering, ito sulo ulte banal, ito sulo ulte yiruale, wati wati. Purka umul mafoy ko iso sulo ul noma. Para sa tuma, ito sulo ul noma ni lo sulo ul tarando. Ika na tingari fanang ka man siya atin na po. Mo kote ulbe men ni mina balula. Dunia kono. Because mo mo yewa ato sa peka men balula. Ito balula. Ito balula men na. 
parce que nous avons dit que nous avons dit que nous avons dit que nous avons mais alors, quand on est il faut que les gens soient en train de se faire. Ni la balou, de la balou, la balou, la balou, la la balou, la balou, la 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 mais si à la Hawa, à la Mantoro, à l'Onko, à Bekeri, à Dunia, à Bini, à Dubé, à Gambédian, à Mousalfe, à Kouéta Molman, à Kouéta Dunia, à Jésus et il y a des gens qui ont été en train de se faire. Il y a des gens qui ont été en train de se faire. Ils ont en train de se faire. Ils ont été en train de se de Infrastructures and facilities. Old baby, man, can be man toro kono. Be tina datika. Adu funding ng ferro. Ola na ikaje manseka na flow ni ni. Aka ferro dada puruka ni ba danda ola cool kela. Puruka ni dada kote ke puru ni kamala ko kenyoli meni tare i murna. Yen tangkandi ba bali ola man toro la ni di la selo. So woro ni aje masukunda bo be kala ko ke man kama puru hana madi ola balu ola bete ala mo bete. Mais nous avons fait des choses qui ont fait des ani ala hawa mo buga fo mo ya na ne o be jan abi dawo dal adu mo be bare mo mo be dawo da be ya jere tilo be kundol e e me de banko be e kotole adu ibe wulolo kono yirol be dan dawal e ka fonyo le ni ji wati o wati 
development plan Um, climate change is, um, is, is all encompassing because it does not leave any sector out. It affects livestock, as I mentioned earlier, it affects women and children, it affects the health sector because it makes more, some other diseases more prevalent. And in the Gambia, it's a big problem because as, uh, since we depend so much on agriculture, when the agricultural system is not successful, I remember in 2011 it was declared uh, we had 70%, 71% crop failure, which I believe in any country would be a very serious issue. And this leads farmers who have now invested all their inputs into the ground and do not have timely information on the, at the, whether the rains will be good or bad. Um, this takes them into poverty and this forces them to now go into the forests and the natural resource base to extract uh, resources so that they can survive.
That's why I mean charcoal proliferation, as we've seen, is, is increasing around the, around the country. Previously, it was only found in certain regions, mm -hmm. but now in almost all the regions, there are uh, people involved in the uh, production and sale of charcoal. National climate change policy came about because of obviously um, we have a problem. Climate change is a problem, and it's a it's a national problem. And if you have a national problem, it, you need a national solution. You don't always need people to come from outside to help you. Well, with regards to the new um, government that we are currently uh, working under, um, there's been a lot of improvement, a lot of progress with regard to climate change because the policy was, um, the beginning of the development of the policy was in the previous regime, but the document was approved and endorsed by cabinet by this current government. So that is something that we can appreciate. We've also made a lot of progress in terms of our national development plan. Under the national development plan, climate change has been clearly identified as a critical enabler, which is, makes us technicians very happy. And also, under the flagship program for environment, um, one of the projects that we, have, we are prepared, developing under our strategic program for climate resilience, also known as the SPCR, is a flagship project um, called Creating an Enabling Environment for Building Climate Resilience. This is seen as very important because to think about it, we've had a lot of money come in through agriculture, through many sectors with regards to projects. But a lot of times they fail, which is some people see it as that, some people, but we might not get what we expect. So I think what we, we've realized we need to do is to get our house in order by making sure that the institutions are, are well formed, making sure that the linkages between the institutions are very strong, coordination is very um, on point. That way, whatever international funding comes here will be utilized effectively. Wow, Hamga Adinamum Nunla Deme, Bepare, Dafa Amlena, you know, you get in something is really affecting us is this politics. My politics, I mean, Benga Hamene, some people be they are not seen. And then politics, remember, the farm time, Bohamne, we have to jail politics, new fool, cut together, page, cut aside. Because of you know, say development, because of so Adam Baro, Hole, whatever, come yen and you don't hold any kind of band you do them, because of politics, motor home band you munta them. Because of the former president, when he was here, he that's why Banjulians were not supporting him, so he's not going to do nothing for Banjul. That was the big mistake, to, I mean, from him. Because Banjul doesn't belong to Banjulians. Banjul belongs to the Gambia. Understand, man? So at the end of the day, fi that's why neka deka bo hamne pa Gambia biya pa kopoka. Problems he are dying because of Banjulians. He sent dreams, he sent problems, he ever since was these roads. The whole president of the country is not going to be to do The president of the country is not going to be able to do it. The president of the country is not going to be able to do it. The president of the the country is not going to be able to do it. The president of the country is not going to be to do National development plan being Alhamdulillah Rabbil is a goal to Banjulians because of this has been our dream for a long time. In fact, Balama Kumase Mawahlen, what Banjul was like, in fact, what Gambia was like, and that's for today after launching this national development plan being in Banjul. I would say this national development plan being in Banjul is not for only Banjulians, it's for the whole Gambia. Gambia has been traumatized for some time ago. Banjul was in a ditch. We all know what Banjul was like. Nakala Gambia melon why Banjul mosirao. Fi amona jamalo bo hamne yon amufu. Nyo yo ye fa deka. Kuneka gisna numel. We've been living with that for more than 22 years. In fact, now we're 50 something years. Because when Jamara came, okay, mungi feka yon yo hamne momla fi tuba abide from during the colonial days. Why is he ridi mambo wu yahuna? Fixuko. Uh, we had a president, Yaya Jame, Nyonafini, Mugena Garao. Banjul was traumatized straight away. I want to say that you are a master. If you read Benin Kwan Binga, you are a master. You are a master. 
Je You know, because because that is the computer comes so smoothly, come there will be, there will be no some kind of complication or problem. I think that is the come come so kind of rough way, hamga. Come on, is it not just just? So banjul ya, some people know banjul dema, ak banjul te. What is the difference? So uh, <laughs> the the um the difference is like day and night. Yeah, like like seriously speaking, seriously speaking, it's like day and night because. Because for we for we Bandulians, you know, you know we have we have you know we have earned for this, you know we have you know, you know it's it's like it's like a dream come true, yeah, it's like a dream come true, yeah. Because it's like so many years, you know, a whole capital, you know, a whole 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 capital is like it's like a forest or some kind of isolated area, and it's not be so. Banyul, Demba, Banyul Melu no one capital, Banyul Demba, the family. Deki kau, nyoko tane sa. Deki kau i, nyoko tane. Nda, sunye me mase. Yere buba, dunyi nangu sol, dunye me unyo sol yere buba. Nda sunye me sol, sunye me denyu uti orde sa wela omo. Because of manju ne kona deka bo hamne, so fi nyowe langa ni langa la che fanu capital city be. We witnessed that I came from Senegal. Mange nyosi bara mange andasi gan bin age bara be watcha banyo da fun light and a capital bit. Dulu mo mu hamga dulu was shocking. Wow, munga wone ma ana capital bit. So abi mo wone ma ana capital. Mane ko bi mo capital bit. He couldn't believe it because he was from Senegal. He was from the capital city Dakar. Why you mane na explain ele mane banyo mo street city the way the streets were was really excuse me for this language was disgusting. We all know that the Banju was in a ditch. There was nothing in Banju some days ago. Bufu wana la lulu, bobo mum kendo ko wakensa. Paras ka Banju mum gate la one. So tawe moto du dau bicycle du dau dosa punga du dau dan ton tu domoda. Wa Banju mum dau dan ton tu domoda, domoda anga dan am. Dau fa hong hajur. Wa usa so dohe sa so duge sa bir kenga wara duga sa bir nig dang am pursi mi dala isi bunti kerdi. Ngamuna duga si bir kirgisa ngamuna dem si pompe bisa berhasa tangkai. A capital should look like a capital, but a capital looking like 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 some kind of dump site or some kind of you know. So it's 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 kind of it's, it's kind of terrible. So banyul tambo ak banyul lagi, no, it's different. Ban mo gen ban mo gen kapo? No, bi mo gen. Luko aran luko aran. Change si development. Wow. Banyul ni melon bete banyul la denda. No, 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 no. We have at least come. We are seeing some kind of improvement, although it's not improved like how we want it, because because the government cannot cannot do do everything. Yeah, like seriously, the government cannot do everything. So you know, at least if we have some kind of agencies or philanthropists, you know, that will lend a help in hand, you know, at least you know to make Banjul what Banjul has to be. It is indeed a pleasure and an honor to gather here today. To launch the groundbreaking Banjul Sewage, Drainage and Road Rehabilitation Project. Why, Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alamin, when we got a new president called Adam Abaro, Munyowa plan bini, ak yene bini, ak holbuset bini, purwara gene Gambia si torohange. Because of soko hole in the whole Banjul day. For now, mong we do want the amusi. When you look at Banjul, you know Banjul is Banjul today. It's turning to be another thing. It's like a proper capital city. Project Bini Munko launched in 2018, if I could fully recall. 2018, uh, I mean, launch Project Bini. Why well, been launch a Project Bini within 2018? Aglegi from Nekani, so whole a big Banjul, Yosa Bopa Dangani, no. Because of Banjul here, we got 76 streets in Banjul. 
76th Street, you, you know, in 2,234 households, compounds in Banjum here, right now. Why with a population of 31,000 people in Banjum? So Banjul, the first 76 streets in the Soko Hole of Wagi Munko Lal. Banjul is turning to be another thing. We all know that. Yes, Nanyon, Nunde, Ninumanawa, Baro Moko de Fandachi, Baro Bill and Yogisini, Singur Baro Bill and Yogisini. Wow. Nguru Jawara Gisunko, Nguria Jamigusunko one. Kwanak Nguru Baro and Yogis, Baro and Yomana Hane Moko Jagan. Wow, they like this. I mean, the help of this new president, Adam Abaro, that actually came with the mind and then the heart and then the true leadership from Mugisne Banjul is our capital city. It doesn't belong to Banjulians, it belongs to the whole Gambia. Because if Banjul fail, Gambia be a fail. So Banjul ba he, Gambia be a ba. So Banjul is for Gambians, it's not only for Banjulians. Let people stop thinking Banjul is for Banjulians. Banjul is for the whole Gambians. And then achievement go bu nonu so happen in ñep la xawal. Bro man tay dama ñom Banjul di setan way dafa melni dis man rien ay toxic kon bi li lu ko waral. Am li ko waral moy am maybe am na ko mbebi sax because because legi mom so comme nga gis ne comme legi comme tok bi comme tok bi dal comme comme mo amul jiri dal comme mo use so so jogi comme comme gadam def dara at least you know at the end of the day you know nga nga sel comme lo mona am sa you know yeah 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 way banjul defan daw est ce que ni mon na fi def dara ndax legi amna fi liggey bo nga dem ni mon na ci ngatu ah wa diga mo banjul banjul mom comme defan daw de is one of the smallest capitals you know in africa yeah like like seriously yeah because um road construction you know is going on you know so lo re xam nga comme at least xam nga comme youth ci comme ñu sey duga Alisa, you know, guy, nengmuna amdara tuti sa, you know, come morning talk we, I'm gonna give you know. So whole the band you like come ningko wahes starting this, so whole the Ghana we got this ne there is this project we monger them on. They are youths who come ne, they from Banjul, feeling judo yarofi. It has been, I mean, a thing to Banjulians ne Gambia be ne wa Banjul bugunyo lige then lazy then you are no. It is because of the system that was here make Banjulians lazy. Right now, boys, you guys need to wear bandul line. Hello, you wear bandul line. My son, Papa, you know they talk. So, I'm going to take budget money. Mister, so my dumb monkey, you get the guys' project. So, hello, you think I'm not only deaf? It was not fair for us to be blaming the kids directly, hundred percent. It wasn't. The fault was not only about the kids. We also had contributed because of system. Be more government. Be the for contribute. System be the new traumatized. Being a how many people be? I'm not only just hello. I'm not only just nothing. But at the end of the day, tell you when you can't, ni nyange gisne, banjul hale yefi deka amne njom. Because ligai bi nyu ligai ni nyom nyoko ame. I hale yunda, nyom nyoko ame diko ligai. Ak I professional siyo hamne da inden jail contract pour nyu mona ligai ligai bi. Why dinga chapane sibir lulu? Amne ndau yo hamne tay alhamdulillah rabi alami. Mashallah. Wow. Lina gumom nyu kontan nensi, sun kontan terak nensi gis. Ngi nyu nyu chain food party, nyu go dafari. I'm like, it is that they only talk for the good of the guy who watches. I like the guy who does the talent. I like the one who's cool, nice. I'm not afraid of the fact that we're going to play. For us, we're going to play the talent. We're going to play. I'm the one who's going to play. My advice to you is to be careful with the Lord. You see, you're going to play with the Lord. You're going to play with the Lord. Because you're going to play with the Lord. Right now, you're going to play with the Lord. I'm going to play with the Lord. I'm going to play with the Lord. Duma wahambol, bena bena nyofi neka nyohamne. They are not in for this. Whatever the man is making for Banjul, I mean especially Gambia. Waji munge legal Gambia, you men inga gisni nje pade kontan. So toge inga wahagai fumne kani nala wande are all die hardy Adam Abaro line. Because all in buga send dreams in momla Adam Abaro in momla in isil. Dreams has come true. Adam Abaro is doing a lot for Banjul, and he is not only doing. He's doing it for Banjul. He's doing it for the Gambia because Banjul is the capital city of Gambia. Anyway, His Excellency President Adam Abaro, I mean, I would like to give you a short advice. Uh, I'm not in the position to give you advice, but because of this opportunity, I will take it to give you advice. <laughs> advice, bi mala jo moine deka bini alhamdulillahi rabbi alamin. Well, yange ligay nak wai nanga hamne nanga ligay nanga gase nunla nini di sule.
Why? Well, yeah, there is a big problem behind you. And then, why, inshallah, Rabbi, linga def nini dina nasi muna japa le paraske nini angegi sumne kani banjuli yansi ignorance yu nyu japa won munge wa nyeko. There are a lot of people you have they are aware. I'm not land more changes big. This name changes be soon boba because only both this gaming municipal. We might advise more in a decabi from Nekani Demnakanam. Dunda wreck more more this singing from Nekani Ligabi, Degala Haleange Ligay, why does not fit? The parade they need more security. Security more de Yogu Deca. So security am to am. From Nekani Dal, Sunyo am Jaffe 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 am Nade. Why no neko society yon neko society development because of hamna neko no bila bila yon koko muna la yene luneka si kanam tuti maybe ten percent bidas he will come out with it I, and I believe me he will sort it out because he is there to sort out our problems as a president. But banjul you know banjul is banjul today is turning to be another thing. It's like a proper capital city. Munge turn to be a proper capital city. Why you very time you go ahead? Nina yon 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 do that yon really end up around. Wow, let me. No, you have been caught because of ladder. So, you have a ladder from ladder number one got stepped. You step from ladder number one to the last step. You can't jump from ladder number one to ladder number ten. It's practically impossible. And then, if you don't take a bow, we can see everything that fell down, nothing was working. And then the man came in. So, the more definitely, they've got step by step. La. Rome was not built in a day. The man is doing his bits, he's doing his duties as a president, as a leader. So I think you know what I mean, the National Development Plan is the AMLA. The National Development Plan is the AMLA because of so called the Adama Baro Munge do have exactly the National Development Plan being a beam launch Munge happen beer banjo. Because of Fintahuni right now, see National Development Plan be the Boka. So just a few meters away from us, you will see people constructing. You will see kids and professionals out there doing their bits. They are doing their job. So there is nothing. Look what the guys really want to hear you say. But the family is very young. Be like, the president be Because I think the family is going to be able to get the employment. The more we say the family is going to be able to get the employment, almost about 70 to 80 percent of new new people. Because of no lack of say Because of the and employment be one year kuna because of these kids are working and then they then don't point finger and they are useless they are hopeless they got nothing to do why it was the system that fails them but this system is doing something about the kids which is a different big difference they make so at the end of the day Adam Abaro is doing something for Gambia and especially Banjul capital city the film ko commence e fara ko wara commence fi moy lada number 1 mu ek ci ko mu ko commence lada number 10 mu wacce ci souf I go to capital city. You want to go to Rome, and then voila, oh, base inga build up, base inga ni danga. I mean, you fini lolo do achievement, poor friend. Wow, Adam Baro, man, matu da lisa dabo. Sali gebi, refet na lol, gis na inko. Wai lini buga hananga yo kati ko. Konta na nchi torap nyun, konta na nchi nyun wa ba nyun konta na nyun. Nyun sega na ote nyun sega na elit. Isala. I know this project is helping to at least uh, bring that security at family level, particularly for those on cast for work, whereby they will be having access to finance and be able to at least um, go ahead with their daily livelihoods. So that alone is good for those families. But also it goes along with certain supports, technical supports, and capacity buildings that the department is rendering to the people. Um, that is encouraging the democratization process, thereby uh, bringing about that security and stabilizes the minds of the people because they now are able to know their roles in the development of their own communities and their own worlds. So that is a security um, improvement that this project is bringing about. And uh, I think knowing about the financial management aspect of it, you will be able to know how much you are entitled to as a ward committee and how should you be spending that money. That also is going to help in 
uh, improving people's spendings on program or project implementation. And it stabilizes the local communities because if you know these local communities, once funds has reached them, everybody will be ready to have at least or to know something about that phone. But we are so much transparent. We make sure people have, there are three standard indicators that are always met. People should have knowledge to the amount that has been transferred and they should also be able to uh, have that result within the time that has been set and as well as the service providers, the process in which the program implementation is taking, including the role of the service providers. So this is all bringing about security and economic transformation in those worlds that the program is in intervening in.